Welcome to the MSA drawing and painting room. This is not how we typically do tours here, but um, but this will have to suffice for now. Uh, I'm so glad you're excited about MSA. I'm so glad you're interested in MSA. And um, so I'll just, I'm gonna start and I'm gonna talk about the drawing and painting program, what that might look like for a student interested in drawing and painting. So first, let me show you the drawing and painting room. Um, I'm Taylor Mancini. Did I say that part? I'm not sure, but I'm Taylor Mancini. I'm the drawing and painting teacher. And uh, and this is the drawing and painting room. It is not tidy, mostly because we have so much stuff, but also because we just got a huge shipment in um, of supplies for students to come pick up masked and six feet apart. Um, so uh, so I'll, I'm going to do a little uh, turn and you can see the drawing and painting room. There's art everywhere, which is how I like it. Ready? Here we go. Ooh. See some stuff over there. All that all those boxes back there are paint and canvases. So pumped. There's art everywhere. It's fantastic. We love it. Um, so for a student interested in drawing and painting, what that looks like is first year, you if you wanted to be a drawing and painting student only, you would do a, a foundation class and a drawing and painting one class. And foundation is basically like an advanced version of of sort of the found the foundations of art and design. So we talk about the elements of uh, of art and the principles of design, and we do really explicit projects uh, geared towards uh, learning how to accomplish those. So we have a line project, we have a color project, uh, we have value project, and then we talk about the principles. How do you create emphasis and how do you create movement and unity and and all those things? And so um, they really get a sense of how to how to make that stuff, how to create that stuff um, through practice. And then drawing and painting one is uh, all about skill development. So uh, I give all my projects are, all my projects at, in all my levels are a variety of media. And, um, and the, my goal there is just to get students experienced with lots of different media and see what they like, you know, and, um, and, and then even if they don't like something, uh, give them experience with it so that they feel a little bit more confident and comfortable. Um, drawing and painting two uh, is all about, drawing and painting two and three are all about um, really pushing students' uh, skill and pushing students creatively. Um, so the drawing painting three is really, really geared towards the projects are a little bit more, um, open, but the, the prompts are really, really, um, interesting. And, uh, sometimes students are mad at me because, uh, you know, they're like, what are you even saying to us? Um, so, you know, but the, but the, but the idea is to sort of push students out of their comfort zones and get them to experiment both uh, with their skill set and with, um, with their minds. <laughs> um, so, so that's drawing and painting, um, that's foundation through drawing and painting three. And then their last year, which is AP, um, students come to me two periods a day and, uh, and we create a portfolio for AP for College Board. And uh, right now what that looks like is 15 pieces, uh, all with some sort of thematic thread. And the thematic thread between those 15 pieces is, is up to the student. Um, and it's what it, what it's my goal as, as a teacher is to, um, to help guide and critique and, um, and support those students sort of in their sustained investigation of that thematic thread. Um, and we do, and then we're a community too. So we do critiques every two weeks, and um, and you know students do fantastic. Uh, I, I th last year, um, anyway, I've only had one student not pass, and it's because she didn't finish because of extenuating cir circumstances. And um, and and so you know the students are really really great um, and and talented and wonderful. <laughs> um, and I'm lucky to uh, be able to work with them for four years. I'm, I, I, that's the most unique and fantastic thing about MSA is I get, you know, a drawing and painting comes in their freshman year, kid comes in their freshman year and, uh, and, you know, 
then they're then they leave their senior year and I'm still I'm still in their faces about about their art. So, um, you know, I'm I'm incredibly lucky. I'm so um, honored to be able to work with these these guys. And, um, you know, but what I always say during these tours is I'm not the most interesting thing in this room. Look at all the art and look at this. Talk to all the students. And um, so we're going to hear from uh, some of some of my uh, older kids right now. And um and yeah, so thanks for coming. I hope you enjoy and and come see us because, you know, we'd love to have you. Bye. So tell us a little bit about your experience in drawing and painting and why you love it. Um, I love it because of the incredibly safe and driven community that drawing and painting is. I walk in this room and I immediately feel supported in my creative ideas and just in general. Um, Miss Mancini is an incredibly gifted and wonderful teacher who's constantly pushing us to go out of our comfort zone but then supporting us when we feel stuck which is a very wonderful thing to have. You don't get that everywhere and it's just been the best part about Novato High for me. Do you the, have plans to pursue your art after high school? Yeah, I'm applying to, uh, to art colleges. I originally joined uh, art my sophomore year, so I didn't know that that's what I wanted to do. And now I know that it's what I want to do for the rest of my life. And Ms. Mancini has been great about supporting me through my application process for the art schools. Yay. Yeah, we're so excited for you. And how has it been um, this semester doing art online? What's that experience been like for you? It's been very different, and I <laughs> thought it, <laughs> and I thought it was gonna be. Um, it's how I miss when we're making it work, and it's actually been a very lovely thing to be able to go on Zoom and see my classes faces and you know we'll just sit on zoom and paint together and talk and it's not the same as being in the art room but it it you know the the supportiveness and and the creativity and the intelligence of the community is still there and we still feel it every day wonderful thank you so much we appreciate you I, so <laughs> when you joined msa drawing and painting how did that change your experience as an artist oh i had a lot more freedom i feel like because um, I was in art and design in sophomore year, and I transferred into MSA uh, my junior year because I didn't feel like I had enough freedom with it. And um, I feel like junior year was really a turning point with me and my art because I actually had the materials to be able to do what I wanted to do because that was always a problem when I was like doing art by myself. Yeah. And how is it juggling two different MSA programs? What is your second program? And, and can you do more than one MSA program at a time? You absolutely can do more than one MSA yeah, program. You can. Yeah, you can. <laughs> um, I'm in rock band. Um, rock band is a vocalist and also like in APR too. Um, I feel like at the same time you're juggling two classes and stuff, but if you're like passionate about what you do, it's more of a joy than it is um, um, something that hinders you. <laughs> and so like, not too stressful? No, not too stressful because like if you're in MSA, I'm assuming that you are passionate about like your art form and like what you want to do. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Of course. What is symphony? But they looked at me like no idea I knew names and relationships Looking at me saying see you later A million years later and I are giving up A million years later and I was trained to love Because I didn't like what I found I didn't like what it seemed to be I didn't like what I found I didn't like Everything is nothing like it was before It was the same but just a little bit more Yeah, I didn't like